Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. Alan Malventano is with me, and we're here to uh, talk about, maybe explain an issue that's been coming up a lot in the world of SSDs, I guess fairly recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like there was some potential performance issue found with a certain subset of Samsung SSDs. Yes. What, first of all, what, what drives uh, is this issue that we are seeing kind of affecting right now? Okay, so this is limited to Samsung drives that use triple level cell flash. Okay. DLC. So that would be the 840 EVO and the regular 840, the 840 that does not have a Pro at the end of the name. Okay, so 840 Pro wouldn't have whatever this 840 is. 840 Pro does not have this okay. issue. So what is the issue that we're seeing? So the issue, and I'm, this varies very widely among different samples that people have done different kind of tests on, but somewhere around four weeks and later, if, the, if data has just sat on the drive for that period of time, uh, the read speed starts to slow down for those files. Okay. So as you go back to read those files later, usually you would get around 500 meg per second read speed on these drives because they're pretty pretty darn quick. Um, it starts to taper off very slowly, eventually hitting as low as 50 to 100 megabytes per second read speed, which is pretty significant. That's like under hard drive speeds. Yes, that's yeah slower than hard drives. Yeah. Okay, slower than bad hard drives. Yeah. So data that has been sitting and not accessed in a four-week time period or so, or, or so, because we have to say at this point, like this is an issue that is being reported in a lot of forums. It's being yes. seen by a lot of different users, and, and Alan basically started going through all of our drives that have been sitting with data in them yep. for a while, and one of Ken's as well, uh, and kind of testing and, and not validating, but but mm -hmm. seeing the same results. Yeah, very very similar. Uh, we were kind of lucky because I just happened to put an uh, old buddy of mine's hard drive image on our 500 gigabyte Evo sample. Mm -hmm. So I had a 450 gigabyte file that sat on this drive since last Christmas. Okay. And so it's definitely longer than four weeks. Very handy, yeah. right? We yeah. had probably the worst case longevity thing, and the drive wasn't even powered up. Right. Right. Um, and we went to go read that file back, and the read speed was basically somewhere between 50 and 100 meg per second. I find um, that actually the most interesting part is it was never it was never booted up after that. So it's not right. a right. logical issue. It is a physical issue. Yeah. Initially, as I was reading these forum uh, postings and whatnot, I figured it might be some kind of a logical issue. I thought maybe wear leveling might cause the old stuff to fragment mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Turns out it's it's completely the opposite. In fact, I did a bunch of writing to another 10 gigabyte section of this Evo, this very same one with the old file on it. Mm -hmm and rewriting continuously uh, across like a 10 gigabyte span of a file didn't cause any change in the old file. It still read very slowly. Still read very slowly. So that indicates to me that uh, maybe Samsung was, and this might actually be the answer to both parts of this, is that uh, Samsung might have been kind of aggressive on the um, wanting these to last a long time, mm -hmm. right? So it, to get long, longer longevity out of the drive, you wear leveling actually wears out flash quicker overall. Right. Right. If you, yeah. if you, if you are wear leveling to shuffle, uh, to do extra shufflings of data, that's b eating up writes. Right. Versus if you're only writing to one section of LBAs, keep just writing to that or maybe distribute it among only the, the unused portions of the drive. Right. Right. Areas that have been trimmed, for example. Um, so maybe Samsung is just kind of holding out on wear leveling until the last possible moment. Maybe it actually goes through some, you know, eats up maybe 50% of the cycles of the flash until finally it says, okay, now I'm going to start using up, hmm. you know, and distributing this other data. Now, other SSDs uh, might actually do this to some extent, like other triple level cell maybe. Intel makes a uh, triple level cell model. Hmm. Maybe it does that too, but I know that Intel's algorithm is very aggressive about it always wear levels. Like every time you write something, Hmm. It will hmm. go back and shuffle data around. So, so if you had one of those, um, like an Intel driver or any other drive that did kind of more aggressive wear leveling, uh, you might not even see this just with regular use because Windows would normally do writes to the disk over time, and that would eventually kind of keep everything yeah, fresh. Yeah. So the, right? the the 840 Evo is probably the best selling SSD of the year. Yeah. Right. Yeah, um, it's definitely up there. So how do end users see if they're affected by it? Because, um, I mean, the, the issue came up because pe somebody was, I guess, loading a game or something yep. and noticed that it was in loading incredibly slowly. Yep. 
and started to actually, okay, let me run a test and yeah, let see me do that. what, I, what I th that is. I think the first test where they were just taking like those game files and just trying to copy them off the drive and just like put them somewhere else and they noticed, wow, this is only 50 meg per second. That's pretty significant. Yeah. Right? And then people started diving into it more and more and there's a huge uh, thread on uh, overclock.net forums mm -hmm. where guys have actually made tools. Somebody made a tool that actually, there's actually a couple of them, goes through a drive. You can even run this on your C drive, doesn't do any changing of data, it just tries to read all the files on your drive. And it uh, then sorts them out by read speed versus date. Like last modified date So of you the can file. see where that drop off date yeah. would be. Yeah, and there are yeah. some really good plots. We actually put, uh, I, I picked probably the, the best example that I saw there uh, is actually in the article um, that we wrote talking about this. And it shows just a nice even taper off as the weeks pass. Hmm. You know, took a little longer to get to the maximum uh, I, I, sorry, I'd say the minimum speed or the maximum effect, if you will. Right. That was like, I think, 36 weeks or something by the time the, the speed was all the way down to 100 meg per second. Yeah, if you, if you look at the story we posted, uh, Alan has some, like, in that drive that you're holding there, uh, where you read from that 10 gigabyte section at, like, 460 megabytes per second. Yep. Really good speed. And yep. then you were reading at, like, 80. Yeah, right around uh, 80. On the other section. And that's from the same drive. It's yeah. just a different file, essentially. Yeah. And uh, more recently, we noticed that there's. Uh, it's also affected by temperature, too. <laughs> that's what because, we're learning today. Yeah, yeah. and um, th uh, we're, uh, this is kind of a guess, but we're pretty sure it's just because uh, the CPU, or the, the CPU that actually is the controller in these, because it is a triple core ARM CPU, okay. it does employ a form of thr thermal throttling uh, to itself, just like if it's in a very enclosed, tight, kind of a laptop environment, no right. fan, that kind of thing, right? It's it's going to stop itself from kind of overheating, if you will. Um, and we were able to uh, rerun that same test with the drive like 20 degrees hotter. Nothing insane, because realize we're, when we did the test for that article, it was sitting under a fan. It was just like probably ideal right. situation, right? Yeah. Versus we just warmed it up uh, to, I think, around 105 degrees on the outside temperature of, of this housing. And the speed almost cut in half. Again, for those areas that were old. For the old areas? Yes. Interesting. So it's as if the CPU is doing a bunch of number crunching, probably some form of error correction, you know, yeah. on the fly error correction. And uh, I think, you know, that action in itself makes CPU work, obviously. So the CPU is going to kind of heat up there. Right. Right. Um, and then we actually, uh, I'll probably add like a third page to this, to this piece tonight. Um, but I, I went halfway through the test with the drive 20 degrees hotter than normal, and then I took the drive and I put it under the fan as it went the second half of that test. And you can actually see the read speed's kind of low, and then it just kind of jumps right back Comes up, up to the again, huh? Yeah. What has Samsung said about this so far? Uh, so there is a direct quote, which we have on page two of that article. But uh, the gist of it is that you know they take it seriously. They're going to issue a fix for it. It's just a matter of you know they need to make the firmware, you know, identify the problem, make the firmware update, and it has Recognizes to go Recognizes the seriousness of any potential degradation of read performance on old data. We are testing and validating the circumstances that potentially cause this performance drop and will work diligently to resolve the issue. Yeah. So do you expect a firmware uh, update that would be able to fix this stuff? I do. I don't know how soon, though. Okay. Right. Uh, realize until, uh, remember way back when, X25M read mm -hmm. the fragmentation issue, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it took them a solid three months to turn that around because mm -hmm. it had to go through their validation, their quality control. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, sure. And I'd, I would I would give Samsung that amount of time as probably the maximum. Right. Right, because... What, what should consumers that have these drives do today? Is it worth, you know, going to that forum and getting that utility and, and checking to see what data is maybe affected? And then what do you... Can you do anything about it? Uh, so there are... Many, many, many different suggestions. Uh, <laughs> um, some people have used different forms of defragger. Some people have used even SpinWrite, okay. believe it or not, which SpinWrite does a form of reading and then writing back to the same place. So once you've written the data recently... It kind of resets the yeah, performance? it basically resets the performance. Have you, have you seen that in one of these drives where you can see that reset take place? Uh, as for one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, only to a minimal extent because I'm I'm trying to keep these in the uh, in their slowed down, slow down state. state. Okay. But anything that you've yeah, if you write if you write to even a small portion of a file, if you've recently written to it, it will read at full speed, like 400, 500 meg per second. Hmm. Um, so there's a actually I think there's a comment in that article, uh, in our article, uh, where someone said that the uh, 
it's one particular type of defragmenter, something like my defrag or something like that, and uh, there's a script that you can run with it. It basically forces it to read and write every single file. Mydefrag.com. Yeah. yeah. Um, now the, realize the data disk monthly script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now Things you thought you didn't have to do anymore. Right, 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 right. right. Um, but realize that you're going to, in exchange for getting your speed back, you're giving up some of the, the you're wearing lifespan. out. Yeah, you're giving up some lifespan. Um, so if you're, if you're okay to just wait a little while, wait for a firmware update, I would just yeah. do that. If you if you're gaming or you have some files on here and it's and you want your files to be able to read faster than what they are currently. Um, you can run that my defrag thing. That realize that's going to do the whole drive, even the stuff that's going full speed. Right. Even the recent stuff. It's going to do everything. Um, if, if if I have this drive and I installed two hundred gigs worth of games to it, uh huh, a year ago. Right. Right. And I still play Battlefield Four every once in a while. It's not writing to those sections very often. No. Right. So it's just game data files. That so are that that there. this is not like an outside the realm of what a normal user would find. Right. This is right. this is kind of typical unless you are deleting your games and rewriting them or re-downloading or maybe you cycle through games quickly that would maybe prevent you from seeing this issue. Yeah, if you go through a game within a month and then you delete it and then you install a new game and you yeah. play that through, you probably never even notice this. Um, but if you had games sitting on a drive for a while. And again, is hmm. if you want to hmm. minimize how much wear of the drive you're doing and just kind of hold out until this firmware update comes out, uh, if it's take the game you're playing, take the whatever the content folder for that game, just like recopy it right to the same drive, just like in a different folder, and then move it back, overwriting the old stuff. Okay. Now you've made a fresh copy, right? It's it's it wrote to somewhere else on the drive. You've overwritten the old stuff, so that got trimmed out. Would you still see the slow copy speed writing from one you, portion of the drive to the other you portion would. of the drive? You would. You During that that's, copy, it would be limited long. by the <laughs> the slow read speed. Yes. So you would see that. It would be really bad. It would take a while because it would only go 50 to 100 meg per right. second for a really old data. So if you had the space, copy your Steam games folder to a you can another temporary folder and then copy it back and over it back. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Well, it'll fix it though. Yeah, not dumb that it works. Dumb that you would have to do that <laughs> to get your performance back. Well, uh, the fix is on the way, so we're told. So uh, yeah, so it's it's just basically something to be aware of. I don't think it makes like I don't think people should be returning their drives or anything necessarily. No, no, and uh, I haven't uh, seen. Um, I, I mean, I, I saw one comment from one person in one place that I looked at of all the places that this is being talked about, uh, where a person had like it looked like just a drive that was failed. Like mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. person just mm -hmm. had a bad one, right? But everybody else that has all these slowdowns. Uh, Nobody's reported a read error. Okay, right. So, so no bad it's, data. It's, it's slow, but and even though the entire like this entire 450 gig file on here it's, reads it's really slow. slow, but it does not error. It never out. crash. You didn't lose data. Didn't correct. Do, yeah, like some of the other firmware issues we'd seen yeah. we'd seen in the past. So there is that. Okay, interesting. Yep. I mean, and, and so this doesn't affect the. It's the only TLC. Only that TLC. we know of. It's not 840, so it's not 850 Pro. The, the 840 is TLC. Right. The 840 Pro is not. 840 Pro is not, right. Correct. Right. Okay. Uh, 850 Pro is only an MLC drive, so we haven't seen okay. a TLC version of that. Okay. Yeah. So that's all it is for now. But Interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, and like we said at the beginning, this is something that Alan is still learning stuff about. Yeah. Um, yeah, just some of the ways that the drive responds just kind of doesn't follow with how you would think it would have. You know, it's really hard to wrap your mind around this particular issue that's using happening. fans and heating, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it all pans out. We'll we'll keep an eye on it and make sure we keep you guys updated. And again, if you want, uh, you know, see some performance data and kind of what Alan's early analysis was, uh, we do have a story uh, that looks at the Samsung 840 840 Evo uh, flash read speed degradation, uh, and we'll link to that obviously in the comments or in the description below. Thanks, guys. Thanks.